Hey everybody, it's Free M's here, Annabelle, and uh, it is Motherhood Monday, where I'll be talking, where I'll be talking about the journey to motherhood from being with no dependents. And uh, I'm going to talk to you about a little product that I tried for the last 28 days to keep the reproductive system in me healthy. Seven C's, trying for a baby preconception tablets. Um, I got them from a local health store, health and uh, beauty store in the next borough to me. And they are 28 tablets, very small, mauve coloured. And I would say they were very easy to store in my handbag. As you can see, the box is still intact. So they kept the tablet safe. The foil stayed intact. I was very distracted with uh, the current situation with my mum. So I forgot to take the tablets twice uh, last Saturday. Uh, and the Monday before I forgot to take them. So I took 26 uh, doses of this four week supply. And uh, they contain vitamin D, vitamin B6, folic acid and vitamin B12. Per pill you get 5 grams of vitamin D, 1.4 milligrams of vit B vitamin B6. You get uh, 400 uh, is it milligrams of folic acid and then 1.5 of vitamin B12. So the nutrient reference value is 100% on the vitamin D and vitamin B6, 60% on vitamin B12 and 200% on folic acid. So I guess if you are trying for a baby and sexually active, you need to take a lot of folic, folic acid to help you along with that. So all I can say is my period was on time and I ovulated on the predicted dates according to my flow app. So I have no idea whether the tablets helped with that, but... Um, I suppose not being sexually active and being single, I can't tell you if they help me conceive, but the things you need to conceive, I suppose, is ovulation and menstruation. And I did that on time according to the predicted dates on my uh, flow app, which has been helping me with some of the symptoms and the moods that I've been feeling. I did get acne on my cheek, which I hardly ever get on my cheek. It's always on the chin or around the eye. So... I don't know if it helped with a surge of hormones that created the acne or if it was my shit diet from the hotels that I've been staying in during my personal crisis. So I've decided not to buy them again for next month. I'm going to try another brand that was available in Boots and see how I go with regards to ovulation and menstruation. And I guess there aren't any other... Um, test that I'm taking with regards to conceiving but I wasn't late and I ovulated so along with this along with preconception tablets I'll definitely be ovulating so in a nutshell I would say the box is perfect for your handbag and it stayed sturdy the foil did not uh, get damaged as well so I didn't lose any tablets I did get distracted with problems with my own mother and forgot to take two doses um, they were easy to swallow. They did. I didn't feel make my throat feel uncomfortable, or I didn't feel as if um, it was stuck in my throat because it was so small. I took them with water. I did try and take them at the same time every day. I took them at around half three the first dose, and I tried to keep taking them around that time with a meal. Um, I, it does say take one tablet. Does it say take one tablet with a meal, or did I just do that? Um, yes. It says, take one pill a day, best taken with food. If you forget to take the pill, don't worry, simply miss a day. Do not exceed the recommended dosage. So because when I realised I missed it, I didn't take two. Hell no. Um, food supplements are intended to supplement your diet and should not be regarded as a substitute for varied diet and a healthy lifestyle. This product contains iron, which if taken in excess may be harmful to young children. So keep out of sight and out of reach. Oh my God, there's a lot of other ingredients mentioned here. 
Oh wow, okay. Biotin, magnesium stearite, silicone dioxide, steric acid, uh, pyridoxine, hydrochlor hydrochloride, acidity regulator, colors, titanium di uh, dioxide, cross-linked sodium, zinc oxide, wow okay there are a lot of other things in them but um so that was the symptoms that i've been having surrounding my period have not increased or decreased and i don't believe it's the result of taking these i think um the post-traumatic stress disorder that i've been having has caused that with regards to the personal crisis that i have been in and uh trying to put a permanent stop to the crisis so a lot of fatigue. They call it battle fatigue, eh? <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, supports normal fertility and reproduction. So I guess that means having your period and ovulating on the same time at the predicted date within your cycle. These were great for it. So I probably will, after trying the, I think there are about four different brands available in Boots. So in a few months, I guess I will probably stock up on these, but I haven't tried the other brands as yet. So yes, the foil stayed intact, so I didn't lose any tablets. The box stayed intact and fit nicely into my handbag. Um, also, they were easy to swallow, the color, mauve. And um, yes, ovulated and had my menstrual cycle at the predicted time. My uh, cramps were not worse than usual or any better. So I cannot say because of what I've been through whether they do something to your period or not. I guess contraception tablets would probably affect that sort of side of things. So these tablets were fantastic if you're on the move you don't have a lot of space in your handbag and I guess I can say if you don't want to keep the box and you want to stay private with your your intentions in your home <laughs> for instance trying for a baby if you take them out and keep them somewhere within your handbag so that when you take the tablet in front of people they don't know that you're trying for a baby if you want to keep that personal so yeah these tablets were great because I ovulated and menstruated at the predicted time. Feeling good about them, but I'm going to try another brand for the next 28 days and see how that goes and give you another review. So I guess in about three months or so, I'll be able to tell you which brand I'm going to stick with to keep my reproductive system healthy. So that's me, Annabelle, from the Free Ems channel for Motherhood Monday, discussing staying healthy while single and not sexually active.